What's going on guys? You got Quasi here for Quasi Animation Studio and Quasi Media Network. Today, I wanna to show you in Blender how to fix an eye issue with a model from Xenoverse 2 and any other model with flat eyes. So one of the biggest things that you have to remember is, is that this character has flat eyes, meaning that they're not balls or spheres, they're flat. So the way I have them set up right now is the you have the front set, that's the pupils, and then I have the whites, okay? And they have a little bit of separation between them, okay? All right, so let's bring our character back. So the fix for this, no matter what orientation you brought the bones in, so let's say your eye bones, it's going to pose mode, and this is for the irises, right? Okay, so let's say just for instance, they were straight. Okay, so let's just turn it on to 90. All right, so let's say that they were like this, okay? So when you create the new bone, because this is what you have to do. So when you create the new bone, it'll come in and it's, in this angle okay but i just kept the normal rotation instead of doing like when you go import fbx okay and down here in armature you would go automatic bone rotation when you import an fbx i didn't do that okay so if you did this still works just remember keep the orientation of the face bones the way that you imported them okay all right so we're going to be in edit mode for this all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select I know this is gonna turn out bad, so let me do this instead. Let me go to pose mode. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Is this it? Nope, right there, okay. All right, so there's two bones here for the head. I am going to go into pose mode, I mean edit mode, and get rid of this bone with the G on it, all right? So if you come into the here, or oh, is this pose mode, right? Yeah, so if I come out of pose mode, I go into edit mode, into the armature, when you drop down, so let me close this, uh, not that one, these. All right, so you have head and neck. Well, below this head would be a G bone. You can remove that bone as you can see we have the head here. So I'm gonna select the top head and I'm going to shift S and uh, cursor to select it, which is two, if I go shift S two. All right, so we want the 3D cursor there and then I'm gonna go shift a to create a new bone now that new bone is gigantic see how tall it is all right so we're going to bring it down to size a little bit all right because we want this bone to be centered all right okay bring it down some more all right so i'm going to bring it forward you're not hurting anything if you bring it forward because again we want it centered so let's go to the front make sure that it's pretty much centered okay so i want the tip the bottom on this okay so let's say if i just click click that not click i'm sorry okay so that's the fix all right so we have the bone there and then we're going to rename this bone okay so let's go down to the bone and you see it just says bone so i'm going to rename that bone according to the naming conventions of the xenoverse 2 model which is b for bone underscore whatever that bone type is so it'll be if it's just a um a usual bone or a casual bone like a neck a head or pelvis it'll have a c okay so it'll be b underscore c underscore i and i'm going to go control okay so that's what it is now all right so what i'll do next is grab the pupils okay and we see that their rotation is not clear Okay, so in the transform, we're gonna hit Control A, all transforms. And then same thing for the whites, okay, the Scalera. All right, so that's set up. So now if I hit R, Z, I can rotate the eyes with the geometry itself, but we're gonna pair it to the bones. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna go into the object data properties and I have it locked to the head. So when it moves, it sticks to the actual geometry. We're gonna hit plus, and then we're gonna go B underscore, capital C now, okay, underscore I control, okay, and then I'm going to open it up, hit, hit A to select all, okay, and assign, and we have that set. Now, when I go into the bones and go into pose mode, when I hit R, I can rotate those eyes, right, so let's hit Z, and now we can rotate the eyes, okay, but now, since the eyes are piercing through the white, we're gonna push it back some. So again, we're gonna change our location. So I'm gonna go back some on them. And then I'm gonna to go to all transforms again. Okay, back into the armature. 
back onto the eye controller and it will rotate. Now understand with the Xenoverse models, you really don't need to turn too far anyway. Okay, and we can do up and down also. So it's clear rotation, down, up, up. Okay, so there you have it. Okay, um, let me see what these pupils, should I put a clip on? It's on blend, let's put a clip. Oof, let me pull that back some. All right, so when I, reason why I did clip is because when I come back in here, <coughs> excuse me, when the eyes go down, you can see how you can see the top of it coming through the mesh. This is why I try to keep it as, I don't try to, I, I try not to go through the mesh. All right, there we are. Because you should be bending the head anyway. So if I click the head bone and I just rotate it, and clearly we can see her head is, her eyes are not moving with the head now. Okay, I don't go to the armature. Oh, I messed up. Okay. All right. Let me do this. Eye control. All right. Now, if I bend the head, it should work. They didn't follow again. What is going on? Ah. They're there, but I, I think that the relationship is mixed. No bone. Eye control. Oh, I said eye control. Hmm. Okay. Go back to object. Why are they down there? Mm -hmm. They're in the proper spot. Oh, man. Okay. I think it's the bone, to be honest. Let me undo that. All right, let's fix this bone. Okay, so edit mode. It's gotta be the bone. Yep, it's rotation. How the hell am I gonna click rotation on that bone? All transforms. The eye control is not controlled by anything. This relationship should be to the face. Not here. No? Hmm. Okay, I know what to do. All right. Come over here, drop all this down. All right. Face root. These are, this is not attached, attached to the face root. So if I come to one of these, its parent is the jaw head. So, how the hell do I set the parent? Oh, okay. Here we go. Face root. Uh, yeah. Should it be connected? Nope. Unconnected. Undo that. All righty then. Here we go. Now, if I move the head, it should rotate. The eye should follow. And they do. All right, there we go. All right, cool. All right, so we fixed the problem there. I know you might say, oh, that took a little bit longer than it should. But to fix that, you go to your eye control, okay? And then in edit mode, you will go to your parent under the bone properties and then pick the face root so that the eyes will move with 
the head when you animate okay so i hope this is clear enough if not run the video back and see what i did so i'll say it again we're gonna go click the face root we're gonna go into edit mode you know, I'm sorry, not face root. The eye controller in edit mode, you'll select it. And then you'll go to face root. Select that. Do not connect it. Stay local and inherit rotation. And we'll go back it into pose mode. And then if I move the neck or the head or anything, let's turn this off. The eyes will follow. Okay. So if I come down to my eye controller, which for some reason is now moved. Okay, here it is. I can move the eyes, but you know, again, we don't want to pierce through. So you may want to push them back a little bit if you want, but we can turn them. I don't want to go too far because that should be far enough, right? But then also depends on the size of the eyes of the character, okay? So I hope that helps. And uh, there you have it. So, and this character is Yunla, which will be making her debut in episode six of versus on the quasi media network channel number love holly